welcome to this lesson and to solve this equation here all you need to do is cross multiply and a little background on cross multiplying all you're really doing is typesing the top number here by the bottom one there and the bottom one by the top number there so 1 times 6 and 2 times 3 and 1 times 6 is 6 2 times 3 is 6 and so those two are equal so what that really means is that no matter what two fractions you have that are equal, you can cross multiply and the result you get is still equal. So coming over to this one, that would mean you would times x plus 1 by 3. So 3 bracket x plus 1. And that is equal to 4 times in brackets 2x minus 1. And there you've gotten rid of the fractions in one step and multiplying the brackets, so 3 or multiplying out the brackets, so 3 times x plus 3 is equal to 4 times 2x, which is 8x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. And then uh, getting the like terms on the same side, so I'm going to minus 3x. I'm actually going to minus 8x from this side and this side. So 3x minus 8x is minus 5x plus 3 equals and these two cancel out, equals minus 4, and then I'm going to minus 3, so I'll have minus 5x. Just going to minus 3 from both sides here like that. And these two cancel, and then minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. And then the last step is to divide both sides by the minus 5 here. So you're getting rid of that number in front of the x, and minus 7 over minus 5 these two cancel so minus 5 into itself equals 1 and minus 5 into itself equals 1 1 x is x x divided by 1 is just x and that's equal to positive 7 fifths and you can write that as a mixed number how many fives in 7 the answer is 1 and 2 left over so that would be 1 and 2 fifths is the answer to that equation so that's your basic method there for solving this type of equation where you have one fraction is equal to another one and that's about it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next one